In this video, I'll show you how to connect a Bluetooth mouse to your iPad Air 6th generation. First of all, take your Bluetooth mouse and make sure that it's turned on. Okay, I'll turn this on. And that it's in Bluetooth mode. Uh, some mouses like this um, Logitech over here has Bluetooth mode, but also dongle mode. If somebody wants to connect it via USB. But in this tutorial, I'll show you how to connect it via Bluetooth. So we do not need this uh, small dongle over here. Again, depending on which model of Bluetooth mouse you have, is to put the mouse into pairing mode. Um, and on this Logitech, it has a button here. I need to keep it pressed until this light is blinking very fast. This means the mouse is in pairing mode. I can set it aside and go on the iPad. So on the iPad, first thing, we need to go into the settings. Once you're in the settings, you're going to tap on Bluetooth on the left side. Make sure that Bluetooth is turned on. Next, over here where you see other devices, you should see your mouse appearing in this list. Mine is over here, Logi M650. Just have to tap on it and it will be added to my devices. Click pair if you get the screen. Great, it's now connected. You can also tap the small eye icon beside it, you see here. And in the future, if you want to disconnect them and never reconnect them ever, select forget this device. But we won't do this since um, I want to use it. Another thing you can do is to customize this mouse. Um, if we go over here in the menu, again, in the settings menu of the iPad, and you select accessibility, and then pointer control, you're going to have access to a few different settings that you can change to make your experience using the mouse more pleasant. So over here, we can have automatically hide the pointer, which means that you see this, the cursor, the pointer could be hidden if the mouse is uh, not in use. Then we have color. We can actually change the color of this cursor to see it better. If you prefer yellow, green, red, whatever, I'll keep it to uh, white. You can also, if you choose a color to make the borders very white, you see, so you see it better. It's a uh, much better contrast. Then we have pointer animation. I don't suggest really uh, turning this off. And we have scrolling speed. You can make it faster or slower, depending how you prefer. Now, if your mouse has some custom buttons, like this Logitech mouse you see on the side, it has two different buttons. Maybe yours has even more buttons. You can actually customize these the way you want on your iPad, just like you do on your computer. So to do so, you first need to go over here into accessibility on the left side. Click accessibility. Then click touch on the right side. Select assistive touch on the top of the screen. Make sure that assistive touch is turned on. Okay, so simply click on this. Once you turn on assistive touch, you're going to get a button on the screen. Unfortunately, there's no way on how to program those buttons and make them work without you having this button appearing on the display. Fortunately, you can move it around and when it's not in use, it just fades out. Okay, now what you need to do is to go down and under pointer devices, select devices. Then you need to select the mouse that you're using in this list. Then select customize additional buttons. Now it's time to take your mouse and to press your first custom button you want to program. In my case, I want to program this side button. So I'll click on it once. And on the screen, they will ask us to choose what do we want this button to be used for. You have multiple options, okay? So let me select one. Let's say I want Siri. When I press this button, I'll select Siri and then go back. Now redo the same exact thing. Press customize additional buttons. And on your mouse, you're going to select, you're going to press once on the next custom button and select another function here. 
go back and you can do this with all the buttons that are on your mouse. Now if you want to delete one of these custom buttons, simply drag from the right side towards the left over here and you're going to see the delete button, select delete and it's gone. You can also select edit and then press this red button and select delete. You can do both ways. So this is how you actually custom the buttons that are on your mouse to be used with your iPad. I hope my video was helpful. If so, please leave a like, subscribe, comment also, and I'll see you in the next one.